Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be creating some awesome armor like this and also getting ourselves for excavation. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, I've been doing a little bit of mining, got a little bit done. Um, we can kind of see I did a little bit more mining here. We have some more redstone, some more clay, uh, because clay is actually underground, which is actually fairly nice. Um, but if we take a look over here, you can see I do have a lot more material that is built up. Today, we're going to be needing a few of these materials. Um, I, I sort of want to explain, we're going to be making ourselves some obsidian. I do want to upgrade my tools a little bit and also try to go to the nether. So I'm trying to do this all without using diamond. Um, I do have some diamond though. There is some diamond that is down at the very bottom level um, all the way to one end. Um, I'll show you guys that later on when we get to, to mining and stuff like that. But I am going to need some lava. So don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to steal some of your lava here. Um, so an easy way for us to make obsidian is to just put it into our smeltery. Right? You can see there is one bucket of lava in there. And if we were to grab some water, which unfortunately I don't have like a good water source nearby um, underground. Uh, so we do have to still come outside, fight off some of these, he these brain suckers or whatever they're called and uh, go back in. Um, but this should be an easy way for us to cast out obsidian, right? One-to-one, uh, -one, you'll get yourself some obsidian. So go ahead and place that in the drain. And if you look, now we have molten obsidian block and we can place that in here. So this is gonna produce one obsidian. We need two obsidian because we're gonna be casting out or we're gonna be creating a, uh, a sharpening kit. And this sharpening kit is gonna go onto our hammer. At least that's the plan. I want to put it on, on the hammer. Um, I also want to get one on the stone pick and upgrade my pick as well. So, all we got to do is this. Run back out, get ourselves some water, and repeat the process. And look at that. We've already got obsidian. We didn't even have to mine for it. Now, there are other tools that will work uh, as well. Like, if you're interested in um, breaking obsidian yourself, instead of doing this process back and forth, you can do so. There is um, an advanced, I think it's called, no, it's called an automatic miner. I think it's from Embers. And that thing will also let you break obsidian, which is fairly handy. So we're gonna grab two of these. I already have the flint, I believe, stored upstairs. And this, of course, uh, hardens really quick. There we go. Or cools down, whatever you wanna call it. We just gotta head back up. Now, eventually I plan on having a chest room down in our like work area. Whereas up here, I do want to have this decorated and have it look nice. So let's go ahead and make a sharpening kit out of this. You can actually make a sharpening kit in here with obsidian. Look at that. And then we, all we need is a piece of flint. And this should, I think this is the next upgrade. Take our hammer. And we upgrade. This will put us at cobalt mining level. No joke. We can now mine cobalt with our stone hammer. Yeah, crazy, right? So let's go ahead and grab a bit more water. We're gonna be able to do that. We also have some other work that I also want to uh, to work on. You can see we do have a cows that are built up over here. Let's check and see if uh, any of these guys are up for breeding. Hey, it looks like they are. There we go. So yeah, the more cows we have, the better off we'll be. So uh, later on, we're gonna need a little bit of leather, not much, but we're gonna need a little bit of it. All right, so let's go ahead and focus on changing our piece of tool here. Before we even get started, I want to sort of upgrade our tools. And we have some slime. So if we take a look at what we can do with slime, we can actually make these slime crystals. And these slime crystals are what we're going to be able to use to make or upgrade our tools. The reason I want to use slime is because it gives a huge dur durability increase to our tools, and that's always a great thing. So we can make this out of slime. It looks like sand and dirt. So we take some sand, some dirt, and of course we have some slime that is laying around over here. We should be able to make at least three. That's gonna be able to upgrade our hammer. I also wanna do this to my pickaxe as well. So we're gonna be making three of these. So we're gonna need a bit of this green slimy mud, and that gets cooked along with our stone. Looky there. Perfect. 
So that's all going to process. I can go ahead and throw all this in here. We don't really need it anymore. Same with the fence. I made that so I could get the fence going. Right. So really, I'm just focusing on upgrading the hammer because the hammer is going to be a very important thing to us. The reason I made three is because this part actually requires three in order to make it. Now, to upgrade this, all I'm going to do is just throw the part onto it. And you can see, um, right now it doesn't really show, but our durability should increase, I believe. I'm going to replace the head. I think I have one head, two heads that are stone. The durability looks like it goes down right now, but believe me, it should increase, I think. Right now, because we're going to add wood back to this. So one of the head pieces is actually going to be wood. So let's go ahead and grab our wood. I think this wood will work. And we're going to replace our main head piece with wood. And hopefully that increases the overall durability. No, it lowers it. Interesting. So this actually lowered our durability by adding that rod. I'm kind of curious at why I did that. Because it's usually... I mean, at least on my pickaxe, I know that it doesn't do that. I wonder if it's just something to do with this particular piece. I bet the slime head might have increased the durability. Because, yeah, if we add this rod back, we'll notice the durability goes back up. Huh. Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna try making the slime head see if that changes anything. So maybe it's just specific to the pickaxe. So I went ahead and made a binding for my regular pickaxe. And you see the durability is 128. We can throw this on there and now it's 396, and still the repair level is going to be iron or gonna be um, stone. So that's a much better deal there. And we still have the wood, which will slowly repair it over time. So yeah, that's a much better deal. I wonder if when I have enough slime to put this on the hammerhead, then that would be worth it uh, to increase that durability because, of course, it still has a low durability, and we want to increase that without changing what we need to repair it with. So, still, this is a pretty nice pick. It's got more durability than a normal iron pickaxe, um, but later on, we're going to be upgrading this thing anyways. All right, so now that we have this thing, we should be able to go ahead and take our bucket of water, and we can go ahead and harvest obsidian and we should be able to not I mean I don't want to dump it into this pool but there is a pool down here that's full of lava that I would actually like to uh, dump it into and mine from uh, it is part of this right here yeah that's a pretty good area to do this what we can do is throw the bucket of water down let it make some obsidian and we just sit here and we wait for this to mine Yes, this is going to take a little bit of time because we do not have any speed upgrades on this tool. We could add some speed upgrades. I believe adding some redstone, I mean, we don't really have enough redstone to do that, but adding redstone to this would make this a much faster process. All I'm really getting is enough right now so that way um, we can set up a nether portal. That's all I need. I need 10 of these. And then we can actually go to the nether, which I'm super kind of interested to see what the uh, nether's like. I'm sure it's uh, pretty scary, considering the uh, the overworld is pretty scary. So we need to build a portal. Yeah, to the nether. That's going to be our step that we're about to take. Um, I'm a little concerned. So don't get me wrong. I am going to be a, I mean, I'm a little concerned about how this is going to go, but I'm going to place it out here. Better two block here. With I mean, just with the way everything else has been, I can only imagine how this world is going to be when we go inside. Oh boy! All right, we go ahead and break that, and let's grab our flint. The portal's lit, and it's time for us to go. All right, so we're gonna go in. If it's dangerous, we'll head back. And then we'll reevaluate our options. Um, but what I really want to grab is potentially some like cobalt, maybe some aridite, maybe any of those things would be nice. As we wait for the world to generate. Oh boy! 
Oh boy. Um. So yeah, first things first. Let's open up our, our waypoints. New waypoint. Now I have a minimap turned off. So just in case that you're wondering why my minimap's not showing up, because I have it temporarily off, but I can toggle it on with just a push of a button. You know, if it lets me, it might lag a little bit. I don't know. JEI is a little, little finicky. There it goes. So it did take a little bit of time to, to load up. Oh my gosh, we have juggernauts. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no. Okay. So I do know juggernauts are here. Um, we do have some soul sand. Is that a beehive? Right off the bat. We already have quartz at the base. This is such a bad spawn. So bad. Like we have juggernauts right there. I don't see me getting quartz or, I mean, we have quartz. I don't see myself getting aridite or anything anytime soon. Maybe if we get lucky. I do hear those guys though. Oh, and those guys do not look friendly. We have no armor on, by the way. And we're trying to do this. Hey, there's some draconium. I'm not seeing aridite or cobalt. I really need a piece of that. Some aridite or cobalt would be really nice. The reason is the reason I want to go for this stuff. Oh, I found some cobalt. The reason I'm going for this so early is because this is how we get access to ore excavator. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but that this is we need a piece of manulin, and to do that we just need to grab some cobalt and some aridite together, and we can get that. So we have cobalt. Now we need aridite. So aridite, where are you at? This is really risky, but this is some emerald ore. Looky there. It gives us emerald. So do you guys see any aridite? Let me know. You see aridite laying around? Oh, we have to go past those juggernauts. Oh no. What have I done? Uh, I think the... I remember the trick with fighting juggernauts is... Yeah, honestly, there's not going to be any trick with fighting the juggernauts. They're probably going to kill us. Um, if they get close to us, they start teleporting really frequently, like really crazy. That's what we want to avoid. Man, there is like nowhere. We want to get past them. Oh, or avoid this guy too. Ow, who also lays fire. Oh, this guy is going to kill us. We're going to... Our first death. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh, we almost had him. We could have killed him. Oh, gosh. I am so not good, guys. Oh, at fighting mobs, man. This is so bad. When we get back... Oh, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. All right. So, I think we're going to have to upgrade our armor. And luckily, there's Tinker's Armory in here. Which is going to help us a little bit. But, my gosh. Juggernauts do not play around. They don't play around. Um, we have at least... Oh my gosh. Look at our spawn. This is horrifying. This is what I was afraid of, guys. Oh boy. Oh, he drops blaze rods. Oh, that's actually really nice. Yeah, these flowers hurt you. Oh, there's a juggernaut right there. We gotta hurry. I don't want to end up getting stuck in a death loop. Oh boy. Yeah, this guy. We have two of them. What? No! Juggernaut! Oh my god. Okay. So we know, right now, the nether is a nasty place. I'm so glad this isn't like hardcore or anything like that. That would be a nightmare. Um, so yeah, getting... Oh man, all we need is a piece of aridite. I really... 
really want one single piece of Aronite. And I'll be super happy, but this is a nightmare. Oh, I should have I should have known. I should have known with the, with the these mods that are in this that it was going to be like this. Let's take a look real quick while we're we're invisible. And let's just see. Oh, well. How convenient of that guy just to kill himself. Let's look around and see if there's like anywhere we can go. Oh my gosh, we even have... How long do we get this? One minute? There's like nowhere for us to go. It is a living nightmare here. There's a piece of cobalt down there. But I'm not seeing any Aridite. Except for maybe in the ceiling? If we get lucky. Oh, we need to leave. We need to get our stuff and get out of here. Guys. No joke. That was horrifying. That, um... We definitely need to get into our Tinker's Armor. Tinker's Armory, um, is going to be a must. At this point. We definitely need to do that. Oh, boy. So, with Tinker's Armory in mind, I guess we can go ahead and get started with it. Also, we really need to upgrade our tools and weapons. And I was thinking more of the lines of a shuriken would work. Um, an unbreakable shuriken would be really nice, but like I said, getting the ability to ore excavate would be really nice, but all we have is cobalt. If we take a look at that ore excavator, or ore excavator. Uh, it's an actual modifier. Right here, the ore excavation modifier. We're going to need some kind of slime, but we really need manulin. And to get manulin, it is a mixture between aridite and cobalt, which is both in the nether. I don't believe there's an easy way of getting aridite in the overworld. So to get started with Tinker's uh, armory, we need to go ahead and make an armor station. Now, an armor station you can make basic stuff with. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this to the armor station forge, I believe. Yeah, the armor forge. Uh, the Armor Forge is going to work very similar to our, our Tool Forge, except for this one is specifically for armor. Um, you can see now each armor set, I've already went ahead and made the cast, so I got, went, went ahead and got that done. Um, each part is also going to consume a plate and a trim. And you can see that right here, plate and a trim, and then we also have our helmet. And of course, that's for each individual part is going to require a different uh, core part. So when it comes to making this, there is a lovely book um, that we can pull. Where did I put my book? I put it somewhere. Um, it's in my Akashic Tome. Oh, it's right in my inventory. So inside your Akashic Tome, there is a materials in use for for the, uh, the armory. And I kind of have already picked out what I want my stuff to look like. Um, I'm going to go with lead for possibly the trim. Um, I'm thinking about bone. Or actually, not bone. There was another one. I think it was flint. It gives you a bonus against unarmed. Uh, maybe not, because I think that flint... I just don't have enough flint. Uh, it all depends. I think I... You know, I might actually have enough flint. Let's see. How much gravel do we have? I can always turn gravel, I think, into flint. Can I not? Is it a crushing recipe? I was hoping there was just a regular recipe to make flint. Um... I guess not. That recipe is not in here. You have to use other means. So yeah, we're probably not going to do that since that is not going to work. So I want to come up with some other material because these do have material costs and we're going to have to use them for each one. Um, I kind of know what the other materials... I want to use osmium for the core because that's going to give me the most protection. At least that I can afford right now. Um, lead, I definitely want for, I believe, the trim... Or actually, maybe for the plate, since it does give me higher toughness. So we'll probably do that for the plates. And then for the trim. That's where we got to figure out what we're going to use. So I, I kind of think I have it figured out. I want silver for the trim. Um, the lead for the cast, or for the plates. And then osmium for the body pieces. So if we go ahead and we look at how much this is going to cost us. You see we have four. Um, with plus six. Plus five on the material cost, and then plus four is going to lead us with 19 osmium needed. 
19 osmium. Um, for silver, we're going to need one for each. So that's only four silver. And then for these, this is going to cost us three apiece. So we're going to need 12. So all of this needs to go in here. 19 of those and 12 of those. I don't believe any of that mixes. They should not. I don't believe silver or lead mixes with anything. Osmium shouldn't mix. We should be good. Um, looks like our lead is already done. We go ahead and cast that down to the bottom. Remember, lead was going to go for our plates. And we can just manually cast these out. I'm going to go ahead and get this all casted out, and then we're going to put it together. And we're going to see how this armor does. So for a sword, I went ahead and just made an emerald sword with those two emeralds that we ended up getting. But that's not the only thing we're going to be making today. So let's go ahead and get our armor set up. And you can see our headpiece, and then we can ply these two pieces. And we get ourselves a pretty cool looking armor set once this is all said and done. You, it shows you on there what it's going to look like when it's all equipped. And yeah, we get some pretty snazzy looking armor. Not going to lie, this is a pretty cool looking armor. So we have 26 now on our armor bar, which, uh, man, that's a pretty hefty armor, we, uh, armor bar we got there. And then we also have on our toughness, 8. So, pretty decent overall, I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty decent set for at least our early materials that we have. Um, and yeah, these also have some other effects that they cause. You can see we have Blessed, Shielding, Heavy, Well-Established, and Dense, all of which that are on there. All of those do cause different effects and affect mobs in different ways. So, with that all said and done, I think there is one other thing that we need to think about before we head back. So there are some shields in this pack that would actually help us out a lot. They don't function quite like the normal Minecraft shield, and plus you could use this shield on top of these. Um, but let's see what currently do we have the ability to use. So a diamond shield would be the best. We do have obsidian and a gold shield would give us four. Diamond's going to give us nine extra HP, and it looks like um, Ender is going to give us that. I don't know, Obsidian gives us quite a bit, but it's got a slow recharge rate. I don't know, remember how I said there was some diamonds? How about we head down, let's see how many diamonds there are. Uh, cause this is going to require four diamonds, so I wouldn't mind using the diamonds that I found on that in particular. So, we're going to take our trip all the way down, and I hope there's more than just one diamond sitting there. That's all i seen in the wall was just one, but there could be more than that. So let's go ahead and mine up our first diamond. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's four. So we have, we have five diamonds altogether. Oh, six diamonds. This is a pretty big vein, actually. Looky there. Okay, so six diamonds out of that. That's not that's not that bad. We can take this now and use it to make a bobble that is also a shield. So all this shield needs is four diamond. And that, and that will get us a shield. And now, I don't know if this has any particular thing it needs to do or activate, but it's supposed to go inside of your bobble slot. And you can see, ah, right there. We have, like, a little bubbles that are there that are showing off, of, showing off our shield. That is really cool. So, that is going to also be helpful, as that gives us even more protection guys um so yeah this is maybe this trip to the nether is going to be a little bit better so first of all we're probably gonna want to sleep so here we are heading back into the nether this may or may not be a great idea but i'd really like to find a piece of aridite hmm i don't know it could be pretty nasty when we get in here much like it was earlier oh there's a chicken Oh, wow, we just, like, one-shot that dude. So this sword is definitely a lot better. And let's see, we weaken this guy. Oh, we, we can two-shot that guy now. We can one-shot that, maybe. Oh, two-shot. Okay, so we're two-shotting those things. And that thing sort of kills itself, so I'm not too concerned about those. Um, the bushes still hurt us. The juggernauts we can kind of maintain if we're careful. 
perfect. Oh, and these give us blaze as well. Oh, they're not so juggernauty, are they? Not anymore. So yeah, this armor is beautiful. Look at that, he's hurting himself. If you hold shift, it makes it a little bit easier to kill these guys, but man, we have to work our way through them. These guys drop a little bit of something, something. Wither skeletons, man. Dropping all kinds of craziness. Right, so I'm gonna continue my way up here and maybe we'll find some Ardite up in the ceiling or something. So after doing some searching, it's right here, guys. Um, I think I have a couple of blocks. There was a, a mob that was in here called like a sheep thief. Don't really know what that guy is all about. But I'm assuming <laughs> it could potentially steal your stuff, which would not be fun. So, this right here allows us to make the final modifier that is going to be so useful for the pick that I currently have in my hand. Because what we're going to be able to do with this pick is when we apply the modifier to it, we should be able to give this pick unbreaking. Yeah, unbreaking, guys. Um, I think we can harvest this block. Yeah, it gives us meat chunks. And I think this makes the block, yes. So we can go up one more block. Hopefully that creeper, of course, it's going to hit us. Ugh, these creepers are super annoying, by the way. It lights the ground on fire, runs away from you. Ow. And also explodes at the same time. <laughs> not, a, not, not the best mob in the world, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> Super hilarious, though. Is this edible? Here I am looking to see if you can eat this food. <laughs> looking to see if you can eat flesh. Oh, it's so nasty. Oh, I heard a sheep. What is that? What is that little bitty thing? Did you see that? Also, like no to that thing. There's so much stuff going on. It's ridiculous right now. There's so many mobs um, and so many different ones. The juggernauts, by the way, they don't play around, but they are a lot easier since we kind of upgraded our armor and we have a better weapon. That I can't say. Because these guys... I mean, I can... Basically, one shot most of them. Or two shot them. So, they're definitely a lot easier. What was that little thing? Is that a... That's what I was talking about. Look. It's a Sheepman Alchemist? What even? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, here's the, this is a scavenger sheep. So there are sheep that are underground. All right, I got what I wanted. I'm heading back. Um, this is a super bad spawn. Super dangerous being here. I'm getting out of here. Here we are guys getting ore excavator. It is gonna be so nice. Now that we have that ore excavation, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on, pour the rest of the stuff out automatically, but guys, we should now be able to make the ore excavation modifier. Now, I do know that um, in, in most packs, the more of these modifiers you add, the more ore excavation you get. Because it should say, when we put this in here, when we go to add this, you see it says one of 25 allows this tool to be used in ore excavation. But I believe just one should be enough to get us somewhere. Um, and this is still only going to use up one modifier, so all we have to do is level this up just a little bit, and we have five modifier slots, allowing us to make this tool unbreakable, right? Because all you need is five reinforcement modifiers to make a tool unbreakable. So now that we have this, let's just go ahead and go down here, and let's just see how much this actually is giving us when it comes to ore excavation. So this is just with one. Doesn't look like it did much, did it? Doesn't look like it's doing any. So what might be happening is this is only going to affect ores. Or we may need two of those modifiers 
in order for it to expand. So it'll go up to 25 blocks. I bet that's how they're setting it up because right now this only or excavates one block technically. Which you would think it would or excavate this one in an adjacent block, but that's not the case. So let's go ahead and take the rest of these and some of our iron. We're going to need our slime that we have and we should be able to go ahead and make this make four of these. Um, so let's take our redstone. We already have our slime on us. And we'll make the rest of these modifiers. And we'll go ahead and throw the rest of these modifiers on our pick. So this thing now should have four on there. So if we go back down, at least this way it'll help us mine ores a little bit easier. If we can mine four blocks at once. Let's go ahead and test it. So yeah, now we can ore excavate a bit larger of an area. That's actually quite significant. That's not four blocks. That's definitely more than four. Um, that definitely will allow me to ore excavate ore a lot easier, right? So I'm not stuck just mining individual ores all the time. I should be able to mine quite well. Oh yeah. It's doing a very good job. And then let's take a look. So, oh, and we also spawned ourselves a slime because we have slime on our tools. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I mean, about 20 some odd blocks that broke. Um, so not bad at all, right? Very well worth our journey. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is going to be worth our journey even more um, because now we can org excavate with this pick. So guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it was quite crazy. We did a lot of cool stuff. Um, definitely involving Tinker's Construct because that is what I want to get in early game because there is some really powerful stuff with Tinkers that you can do quite early. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to give that video a huge smack on that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, what are you doing? You're missing out on all this awesome content and also ringing that notification bell so you guys will be notified when I do upload new videos such as this one. Guys, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>